Family First on this Monday and a subject that has gotten a little traction in my house lately. Parents often feel like a bank. Can I have this? Can I have money for that? You know the drill. You make the hard earned money and your kids want to spend it. Enter the allowance. Allowance. It could be more rewarding than just handing out money, which according to financial expert Maggie Jondro can be a good thing. T. Rowe Price comes out with an annual report on parents, kids, and money. And the key takeaway each year is pretty much the same, that speaking with your kids about money and teaching them about money sets them up to feel more secure using money in the future. But when do you start? The website youngandtheinvested.com reports on one study that found children can start understanding basic money concepts by around age three and that many money habits are set by age seven. But what are they actually learning? You're gonna teach them uh, how to save and how to spend. Maybe they want something, a toy. You have to teach them that uh, every dollar they save will purchase them that toy. Very simple tasks, basic 101 tasks. And then you can build on those lessons as they get older. But how much is the right amount for your kids? Take a look at this. According to a survey done by Rooster Money, the average allowance given to kids in age four to 14 is $8.91. But a really good rule of thumb is to give about one to $2 for every age the child is. So a five-year-old would receive anywhere from five to $10 a week, whereas a 14-year-old would receive $14 to $28 a week. But above all, you want it to stay in your budget. You don't wanna go broke giving your kids allowance. And here's a bigger lesson being taught, the art of saving money for bigger things. I think another way that you could look at allowance is also a goals-based approach. So let's say your child wants a Nintendo Switch, right? I think those go for about $300 these days. And so you could say, all right, if your intention is to buy this game in six months, let's work backwards. How much do I have to give you every month an allowance or how much do you have to earn an allowance to get that Nintendo Switch? In that case, you know, six months, $300, it's about $50 a month. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is too much for your budget, in which case you can have that conversation with your child and say, you know what, you might not be able to get this for eight months. But I think that's really important because it helps your child not only understand earning their money, but also the value of a dollar. As adults, when we want high ticket items, that's what we have to do. We have to budget it out.